Well, Morgan, there certainly is this little beauty. Now, are you tired of swapping out cameras, tripods, and different stands and things like that just to get that perfect shot? Well, have no fear, because I've got the perfect solution for you. Introducing the Elder Chrome Stand Plus, the premium camera gear that's gonna make everything a breeze. But before we dive into the details, here's this week's joke of the week. So last week, what I did was tried out 10 different puns to see if they'd make people laugh. The problem is, no pun in 10 did. Get it? No pun intended? Now, let's talk about the Stand Plus itself. At first, I just thought it was gonna be a bit of a gimmick. And I think they originally came out with this in 2016. And when I saw it, I thought, yeah, it might well be aimed at um, YouTubers or the one-person shooters for overhead shots on cooking and things like that. But after using it for a couple of weeks now, I can honestly say I think it's got an added advantage for professionals as well. The Stand Plus itself is a friction-based tripod that allows you to take overhead shots and different angles in just one small move without having to adjust um, the legs on tripods and things like that. You know what a pain that can be, don't you? I mean, just look at this. When I was trying to take an overhead shot of this one, I can either use my kit up there, or if I wanted one over the shoulder and things like that, you've got to set the tripod up and you've got to do different angles with it and you've got to add weights to it and everything else like that just to balance things in. So no more struggling with heights, adjustments and things like that and balancing etc. Plus it's sleek, minimalistic design just oozes quality as you'd expect from Elder Chrome. You can just feel it in your hands. Yes, it does come at a price at 480 quid, but when you look at the professional ones out there, or even my Monfrotto one that I use all the time with a fluid head and things like that, then it's not that expensive. In fact, some tripods are well over a thousand pounds or even two, three, four, five thousand pounds. I haven't got any of those, by the way, but it's versatility and it's easy to use, easily make it worthwhile. For the size of it, it's also quite lightweight at 4.5 kilos, making it easy to carry around. Or if you don't want to, then you can um, easily strap it to the back of your bag, or if you've got a big bag, put it in the side of there. It's not one of the things you'll probably take everywhere with you traveling and things like that. You'll have your travel tripods for that. But when you're out and about and you've got specific things you want to do or you're off on a shoot, then I definitely think it'd be something I'll be taking along with me. Now what you can't do is stick loads of weight on it because at the end of the day it's only got the friction locks on there. And you can tighten them up like this with the Allen key to make it a bit stiffer and things like that. But then again it makes the use of it or the ease of using it that a little bit harder, doesn't it? But that won't bother me. Um, it has a maximum capacity of two and a half kilos on it, so it'll easily accommodate the R6 or the R3 with a decent lens on it. And it has a minimum height of 22 inches or 56 centimeters, and a maximum working height of 60 inches or 154 centimeters. So there you go, the Stand Plus has got you covered. As for setting it up, it's a breeze. All you do is just pull down on the legs here, yeah, and adjust them where you needed, and then you put your knee against it, and then you can lift up from the handle there and then all you can do is adjust it to however you want to do it, what angle you want it, what height you want it. And like this, you can slide it underneath the table and you can bend it forward so you've got those overhead shots. Or like I showed you earlier on, over the shoulder here so it's looking down on things. Gives you those different angles, makes it more engaging and more interesting to watch. Plus, it saves space. Not only does it compact down like that, nice and square with that carry handle, when you've got it fully opened, if you compare it like this to tripods when you've got them fully opened, look at the space that it doesn't take out. And also, like me, if you've been trying to get a uh, angle of a tripod over a table or besides a table and things like that, you end up with a leg sticking out. As you can see here, it slides nicely underneath the table and it makes those shots really, really easy to do. Plus, it's got these little ball bearing wheels on it. Now, what I would say is they're not perfect. They're ideal for hard floors or wooden floors and things like that. But when they're on carpet, what you've got to think about is there's going to be a little bit of movement there. But they are okay. And you also, if you're filming in somewhere that's got a really nice floor, going to have to be careful because if it picks up something like a bit of um, grit or something like that, it may well scratch the floors. And that's why my better half wouldn't let me use them in our house because I'd have damaged those floors probably knowing my luck. Anyway, um, it does show on the uh, website itself that you can use them outside. Now, I haven't gone and tried that because I don't want to pick up little bits on it. And I feel that, you know, if it's on concrete and things like that, you're going to pick up stuff and everything else. But technically, it does show that you can do that, as you can see. But I won't recommend it myself because you're probably likely to damage it. And who would really want to wheel that around town? I know I wouldn't. And overall, would I recommend it? Well, I certainly would. 
As for Eldercrone, they've got nothing to do with this video. I've bought it with my own money. They, you know, I'm not sponsored by them in any way, shape or form. I just love their gear. And this is something I would genuinely recommend to people, especially those that have maybe a cooking channel or one of those channels where they show how to do things or how to build things, or like Morgan Woods, even build that Titanic. As they'd be awesome for all those different angles that you want to get, just moving it around behind you and things like that, and overhead shots or over the shoulder shots like I showed you earlier on. And trust me, it's become my new favourite piece of gear. There's someone else who says that quite often, isn't there? So what do you think about it? Have you got any questions at all? If you have, leave them in the comments down below. And if you've enjoyed this or found it useful in any way, don't forget, like it and share it with your friends. And as always, stay safe, keep creating and keep smiling. Cheers for now.